and what can and should be done by the rest of the world to what is happening in India. To talk about it, I'm now joined from Geneva by Dr. Margaret Harris from the World Health Organization. Dr. Harris, um, how is the situation in India in danger of affecting the whole region? Good evening, John. Well, what's going on in India is something that could happen in anywhere in the world. It's a deeply, a horrible demonstration of what this virus can do. And none of us can be anything but moved. But all of us must understand that what's happening in India can happen anywhere else. And we are already seeing rises in Nepal and everywhere else. But the important thing to understand is from the embers of this virus, uh, people talk about waves. I would talk about a fire. This virus, the embers can spark an enormous conflagration like this at any time. So it's up to every one of us to stamp, find those embers and stamp down on them all the time. Yet we're, we're looking at the highest infections yet in this outbreak. It's been going on for a year. Are people simply not listening? I mean, surely India has perfectly good communications. People know what's been happening in the world. It's a tricky virus because, as you know, a lot of people may have an asymptomatic infection, others may have a mild infection. But if you have a large number of people infected, you will have a large number of people with the severe form and the deadly form. And then because it requires complex medical care to get you through that period, the hospitals are rapidly overwhelmed, even in a place like India, which actually has very strong health systems, very advanced hospital care. But if it's just a matter of numbers. And this thing can just rip through a population if you let it. And this is a huge population. And in other countries, there have been appeals for vaccines and the rest of it. I mean, is there an appeal for vaccines to go to India? India makes vaccines, after all. But are they ever going to get used? Well, indeed, the vaccines will be used. The vaccines are in des desperate need all around the world. And I understand certainly the international community are now coming together to and the dose sharing that we have been asking for, for, as you know, for many months, is now beginning to happen. The world is beginning to understand that if we don't work on this together, we, we will not be able to finish this. All the focus is on COVID. But your organisation, the World Health Organisation, has expressed concern about the disruption to other vital immunisation campaigns. What's going on with them? Well, that's right. We've seen a reduction or, or pauses in many, many childhood vaccination campaigns or children haven't been able to get to uh, their routine vaccination visits because it's either their, their medical carers are, are flat out looking after COVID patients or the surgeries aren't open or resources have been diverted to dealing with this conflagration around the world uh, and other services like obstetric care, other routine services are also disrupted. Some of the people dying in India now are people who needed care for other things. Dr. Harris, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.